An overview of our project. We initially met, we decided that we wanted to work with the Partnership Cancer Fund. We wanted to provide an event that would give them a lot of media attention, a lot of attention in our community to make people more aware of who they were and what they did. So we decided to do the Boston Voice, which was a um, remake of the voice that's on TV. So to begin with, we went out and we found contestants. We had the contestants come in and do live auditions in front of three judges. Um, they had to come in, pick a song of their own, and they had to perform that, and then they were judged on a score sheet. From the auditions, which we had 11 people audition, from those 11 people, our judges narrowed it down to six finalists. The six Valdos Du Bois finalists have been chosen. Come to the Rainwater Conference Center on Saturday, September 26th and watch as six finalists compete for the grand prize of $500. Tickets can be purchased at First Federal Savings and Loan on North Oak Street or at the Rainwater Conference Center. For more info, go to our Valdosta Voice Facebook page. The Valdosta Voice, it could be you. All proceeds go to benefit the Partnership Cancer Fund. Those six finalists then had a month to go home and prepare to again perform another song. And then they came to the main event, which was an event where we had a, um, a nice dinner for everyone. And then the show was that the six contestants came in and performed. And the judges narrowed it down to three contestants. And then the three finalists competed in the winner won $500. Don't stop. Our winner of the Bell House the Boys is Kelsey. The other piece is we took what Leadership Lounge asked us to do, and that was we looked at a charity organization that a lot of people might not know what they do. And so Partnership Cancer, you have American Cancer Society and they have Relay for Life. However, Partnership for Cancer uh, does a lot of good things for our community, and they're not the best at telling their story or bragging on what good things they do. So our group really looked at it as a challenge to really bring to light the good things they're doing in our community. Well, going back to when we talked about Jekyll Island and the personality profiles, you wonder how you get grouped with different people, but then when you start formulating your plan and, and figuring out what we're going to do, it kind of becomes apparent why you are with the group you're with because we all bring different things to the table. And, and when things got going, uh, you know, we have planners in the group, we have people who, uh, who uh, do the nuts and bolts and dot eyes and, and handle logistics, and, and uh, we all just seemed to uh, kind of parlay to what our strengths were in that development process, but it was a uh, it was a good, a good dynamic all the way around, I think, with the group and the chemistry. Everybody seemed to uh, kind of gravitate to their role without a whole lot of pushing or prodding. We all knew what we needed to do, and, and everybody, uh, uh, it, I think, it jailed pretty well. Yeah. Justin, what was your role? Well, I uh, created the Facebook page. I was also in charge of uh, acquiring uh, the prizes for the finalists. And also, I, was, uh, I tabulated the scores. Uh, both at the auditions and at the final event, and I was the, the judge's liaison at the final event. Tim? I pretty much handled everything having to do with the venue once Rainwater was, was chosen, uh, and that's kind of a natural, because I work with Rainwater, but also you know, having that experience at Rainwater tied us into a production company that handled the AV and the sound and lights, and that to have a first-class production, we needed that kind of uh, you know horsepower to make it be the kind of event we wanted it to be, so, uh, Trying to you know get those parties involved with with this group to make that happen I was part of it as well. And then and then on the financial side, I, I do some number crunching, and so I I, I partnered with Nikki on the bank account to make sure all the all the money was uh, I guess had dual control, good control on all the all the ticket sales and whatnot. But uh, that's pretty much what I did. And in the beginning, I think we identified pretty quick that Nikki would make a great project manager. What was that like having uh, all of us on speed dial? Your number on the phone. The project manager role fit me well. I was able to hopefully keep everybody in task. With Tim, I oversaw the bank account. We oversaw the ticket sales and got all of our numbers finalized before the event. Other than that, I just handled making sure that everybody was doing what they were supposed to be doing and that we all knew what was going on. Ms. Tisha? I was challenged with developing the registration form and the registration form um, was provided to all of the contestants. 
I was also challenged with collecting the registration fees. Once I collected the registration fees, I had to report back to my group as far as how many contestants that we had, how many contestants um, that had already paid. Now on the day of the event, I had the opportunity of working with all of the guests to ensure that everyone had their tickets and were seated properly inside the venue. All of our roles um, grew and changed tremendously as the project went along. I mean, we had the creative process at the beginning where we all worked together on even coming up with the venue and what we wanted to do. Um, and so once we decided we were doing the Valdosta Voice, my main role was to solicit judges, making sure we had a good uh, cross-representation of Valdosta and the music talent that we have, somebody that besides us that could t tell somebody whether they could sing or not. Uh, we could all we all had our opinions, but we needed some uh, credibility behind that. And then later on, you know, I just filled in wherever I needed to fill in. Uh, we really worked hard as a group. We met weekly, and we all filled in where we needed to. Uh, toward uh, the end of the event, I really worked closely with the contestants, following up with them with phone calls. We had several minors that were singing in the uh, Valdosta voice. So their parents had a lot of questions. I had to make them feel comfortable. And the night of the event, I stayed with the uh, contestants. We said prayers, we laughed, we danced. So we, uh, we had a good time, but just trying to make them feel comfortable because they were providing a great service for us. Yeah, I think you did the hospitality role very well. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Plus, Todd kept on coming with what ifs. What if we do this? What if we did that? We had a pretty big event, and um, I think uh, Todd really kind of kept us on the edge of what we could do. And, but then he come, came up with this great idea for the event that raised an extra $2,000, you know, it just at it, the last minute. So, um, it, you know, the, I think the event itself was quite ambitious. We had a lot of moving parts. And by the time we got to it, um, everything was ready. We had a great, uh, the uh, event point was, a, really did a great technical job. And Todd and I were going to be show producers and we did plan it out and, we, and Nikki helped with the script, but then Event Point had such a good stage manager that he allowed us to kind of take care of some things. Um, I took care of media, uh, the uh, TV commercials, all the print, you know, the, the program, things like that. That involved a lot of, uh, a lot of getting information from my other team members and uh, I was really happy with the way the creative production came out as far as the way things looked, the way you know, it was presented a lot of video that we used in, 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 the, in the whole thing. And I was supposed to be, um, you know, helping to get the media out there, but then Todd kind of came in and had some connections, so he really helped push that. And I really, one of the things that you helped with was the testimonials, yeah. that now the Partnership Cancer can utilize those for years to come of actual individuals that have been helped by Partnership Cancer. And I really think that brought to light hey, this is a real organization, it's impacting real people. And you know, that was one of our goals, was to give them some material that they could use going forward, and you really helped make that come to fruition. I was diagnosed with cancer. I was working, a, working my job terminated me, and it caused me to go into a, a, a depression. Cancer caused me to go into a depression and you know, losing my job and my financial ability. I like to do puzzles because it helped stimulate my mind with our, all this chemo, I have chemo brain. And so I do poses that help with my mind, uh, concentration. A partnership for Help, they, uh, they assist me with my traveling expense to Shane. Also they help with my medication. And it, it, eased, it uh, helped with the financial burden of my family. And it, it helped me have a little more peace of mind, being able, you know, to still continue to do the things I need to do, my treatments and stuff. 
What did we end up raising? We raised $8,500 with our event. And that was net. That was net. Yes. Do we need to say that again with the net? <laughs> we raised net $8,500 after paying all of our expenses. And now we'll let you hear a couple, couple of the songs, a couple of the performers. We did talk earlier about a, you know, just a, a big moment during the, during yeah. the evening, and yeah. uh, I, I did say when uh, Tisha and I brought the, the fan favorite jars in here to count the money, and it was, you know, my jars, I think one of them had $40, one of them had $46, and I heard her gasp across the table, and I, I looked up and said, what's wrong, and she held up a $2,000 check that somebody deposited, and that yeah. came, like Stephen said, with like a last 24-hour quick idea to try to raise a little extra money and raise a significant amount of money, and that was just a... That was a pretty, pretty shocking moment, big, big surprise for the night. Yeah. It was already going good, but that just kind of topped it off.